playing a game now? Playing a game? I am. Ooh. Got him. Got him. Bro, what? Bro, how many bullets? What? Where are my teammates at? That was so sweaty. You guys, you want to stick together, you fucking retards? Why is this shit not playing? Yeah. Man, to the stream, dog. It is, we are live right now. Bro, how does that not kill you? They nerfed the shit out of this gun, bro. But I still kill them. Like it's like I, a full clip is ne is never enough. But Man, he a dead man for what he said, man. See me, I 
you see him, he turned to the gingerbread man. All them niggas around you bitches. So how the fuck you gang? Niggas shot and hit the fences. How the fuck you aim? Nigga ain't killed nobody. How the fuck you dang? All these niggas be count, then I really like that. Wrote that hole and I was broke. Now she wanna write back. Want me to put her in her throat. Want my tip to touch the back. She wanna be my wicked witch. She keep asking for my strap. Man, this problems we gon' solve them. Got a lot of weapons for the drama. I'm talking about them FNs, Glock 19s, and this case. Look a while, man. Somebody tell him stop me on the rampage. Batman, he always in the same color, Batman. We sliding, you get hit, but you don't die, you better act Man, this problems we gon' solve them. Got a lot of weapons for the drama. Try to understand me, please don't judge me if you ain't never seen the bottom.
Oh! Yeah, I'm not good with a shotgun. I'm like expecting it to control like the shotgun in Fortnite. That shit was not the same. Wanted me to lie, wanted me to cry, wanted me to die. Real life. I hate this game. Man. The movement is just not it for me. It's not how I am. It's not my playstyle. I'm not a berserker. I'm not movement. I'm about being steady and calm under fire. This is not me. Ooh. Come on, bro. What is this shit? Get the. Why does this keep playing like this, bro? You're playing an unranked game, though, bro. I'm not even ranked yet. That dude tried so. The amount of energy that that dude used to get one kill, bro, in one unranked game, is just unbelievable. Yeah, I guess I'm a sniper. Then. I hate using it though, because it's you kind of have to like put yourself out in the open. I guess. Strategy a little bit. Come on, baby. Give me this shit. Oh. Oh. That was close one. Get the hell. Uh, what the f Where? From where? Oh, that feels a little bit better. That's what I was missing. That's what I was definitely missing, bro. I could probably even do less vertical movement. Oh yeah, I like that, like, limiting the... Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, I can't believe I caught him with a bullet. <laughs> hey, damage is damage, right? God, I hate playing like this. I 
be effortless. Red and white Ferrari, I come through fresh as a peppermint. I ain't caught up in that other shit. They tripping on black excellent. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, shit. Sound 54 show, I gotta go, can't miss this chick. Travel all around the globe, doing what I want with no regrets. She feel safe with us whenever she with gang and make her wet. Yeah. We don't do the social tweet. These niggas too internet. Going live, trying to talk about who got shot, we don't get into that. Can you leave it up in the streets for me? I ain't trying to go to jail. Keep mention my name and all of your posts. It ain't hard to tell. If you get smoked, they gon' come looking for me. Nigga, you dumb as hell. This bitch ain't got love of who we. She must be drunk as hell. I can't let no suck, bitch. I love how they suck dick. Once I get my nut off, bitch, I'm skating like some truck fit. That escape was lit. Wait, what? How are we down? How do we have? What? I'm confused. How are we playing this? It's not time. I'm so confused. Shit, we gotta fucking just run in circles. Got him. Bink! Got him. Faked him out. And give me my fucking shit back. Talk your shit, boy. Yeah, ball that. Like what? <laughs> oh, come on, boys, let's get that ball.
How does how does aim assist like make me turn slower? I don't understand. That. Come on, guys. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That felt so good. That felt so fucking good, bro. That felt so fucking good, bro. That kid was a bitch. It's crazy how you can't get off too quick enough. Like, it's just impossible. It's impossible to try to melee something twice. Okay. Go boys, protect our boy. Gotta protect our boy. No. No. Get that shit. Good shit. Got him. Fuck is y'all doing, bruh? No way, dude. No fucking way, bro. Get in there, bro. Come on. What the fuck is this bullshit, bro? I'm, 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 um, I'm, like, am I on the ledge or not, bro? Come on. How is the game over? What? How is the game over? What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, we are grateful to have you here for the official weigh-in for what will be a fantastic evening tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at the famous London O2 Arena, it'll be a night of crossover boxing, and it's all brought to you by Misfits Boxing and Washington Promotions, and it's going to be an unbelievable event. Things you won't believe. We've seen the undercard, the support card way in here, but now we're going to go to the main event. Now this is a very special main event because we have two main <coughs> events, a co-feature and a feature. The beginning of the night will feature one man who will fight the two fighters I'm about to bring up to the stage at this time. 
and let's bring them up here. It's time to officially weigh in the co-feature and the feature bout of the evening. Now stepping up to the stage and stepping into the crossover boxing world onto the scales. No stranger to the world of sports and athletes. He's a former professional football player, but now recognized in the international rap recording world as one of the performing stars. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Swan. Now, once again, two fighters will be fighting one man. And let's bring the other fighter to the stage who will fight his opponent at the end of the night in what will be billed as the main event of the evening. He'll be stepping onto the scales. I'm getting a test weight right here, but he's not yet. He'll be stepping onto the scales, a 23-year-old professional fighter looking to make his mark on the world stage in his young pro career. Damas y Caballeros de Senora Mexico Luis. Alcaraz Pineda! Luis Alcaraz Pineda! And now let's bring to the stage the gentleman both of these fighters is about to fight. He's 29 years old, a media megastar. From YouTube to music to boxing to producing For entertainment to so promoting bad. sports, including boxing, oh, recognized in the boxing eight. ring as the Nightmare Case S. Hey, is I in the house? First on the scales, ladies and gentlemen. Like, what about his voice is supposed to be cool? I, I, it just Swans. doesn't do it for me. He just scale. sounds like a fucking old, you know, old timer. He's gonna do his tap dance for the crowd. As if anybody, like, it's like, what? This will be a three round contest in a cruiserweight division. First onto the scale. No stranger to sports. How does that Former work? Professional football player, international recording star, Swarms. Ball reset. Ball 199 pounds. One so pound under the cruiserweight high, limit. 199 for Swarms. I'm kind of glad I'm not showing y'all this shit Next right onto now. the scale. This game will be played in the main wow. event, oh, ladies and gentlemen. It comes to us from Senor Mexico, Luis. Alcaraz Pineda. One hundred seventy nine pounds for Luis like what? Alcaraz Pineda. And now, but I've been, I've been get, like, what, bro? Welcome the man. This game is a joke. Who, as he fights. Pineda will be for the vacant ICB World Cruiserweight Championship. Like, I just, it just feels like I'm playing a hacked game right the now. The Nightmare yeah, KSI! Like, KSI! Damn, he looks good. One hundred seventy-nine point nine pounds for the Nightmare KSI! Two fights, three fighters, one man fighting both the opening contest and the final main event. All three on the stage at this time. Let's give them all a hand. A night like no other. The world of crossover boxing. Tomorrow night at the sold out London O2 Arena. Face to face right now. KSI and Swarms. That'll be the opening bout scheduled for three rounds. Bad man. Bad man. Bad man. Bad man. Bad man. Bad man. KSI and O2 Arena. Face to face right now. KSI and Swarms. That'll be the opening bout scheduled for three rounds. Bad man. Bad man. Bad man. That, bro, that was so pathetic. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> Wait, that shit was so <laughs> Bro, that shit was funny as fuck. <laughs> not yet, not yet, gentlemen. Three rounds of boxing scheduled for tomorrow night's opening co feature. That's crazy, bro. I love that he's fighting two people. Once again, it's like, like respect. And bro. of the evening will be in the closing respect. The that's a man that's confident. Event. That's a man that's confident. Mexico, Luis Alcaraz, He's fighting a legit dude. And KSI. Oh yeah, that one's a little different See? though. <laughs> I ain't ready. <laughs> sure. Vamos! 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 Let's go! Vamos! 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 Oh my gosh, bro. Jesus, this is crazy, bro. Akaraz Benyeda is a seven fight professional veteran boxer, 23 years of age. This will be his eighth contest. That's, bro, he just make a mark like, on the whoa. In the world of sports and crossover boxing. And it all goes down. Tomorrow night at the O2 in London. Woo! Sold out. Goofy. London O2 Arena tomorrow this night. Goofy, Everything. Bro. It will be broadcast live on the I don't know. Like, it's so the weird. Like, is he, he, he's so right, confident. Folks, I am here with KSI. KSI wants to come on this side. But, like, there's and Welcome just side. nobody can say anything about it or do anything about it. Talk to me about what you're going to do tomorrow night. Hey, yo, the nightmare is back! <laughs> this is sick, bro. Three years, fam. Three years. Three years I've had to watch all these motherfuckers fight in front of me. And it's good to be back, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to show everyone why I am number one. Why I am numero uno. Numero uno. Are you not entertained, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, sing it. Fuck Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. Oh, Fuck all these on, motherfuckers, bro. bro. Watch. Round one. Round one, bro. KO. It's done, bro. Watch. Watch. Swarms, I know you got some things to say after that. Talk to us. Listen, yeah? I don't know why it's hyping over there, but you got to remember, this brother, this guy, okay, bro. 20 days, bro. He's lost okay. 100. It's just, it, it was 102, and now he made the weight. Yeah, he's a madman. He came to me, told me he's gonna take the fight. On the 27th, I was thinking, you're crazy. He made the way and he's here. You're gonna be in for a big surprise, bro. Trust me, you're gonna be in for a big surprise. He's been training hard, he's a madman for real, yeah? Trust me, you couldn't do them things there with me. I understand, didn't it? you get me? Not from me, but from guy. this guy, it's his, it's his show, yeah? You, this is what he's got to say for you, real boy. 27th, I'm gonna surprise everyone, watch. 27th, watch. KSI, watch. I ain't got to talk too much, bro. All right, folks, again, sorry for the language, but there it is. Your main sorry event. For a lot. Get this hey, shit out of here, bro. They better go so knock each other the fuck out tomorrow. And very quickly, I want to get with... That's pretty amazing. I wonder if that's, like, actually... Like if there's, is there a, there's no way that there's a line on this, bro. There's no way. Now you're starting the night with swarms. Yep. Ending the night with a professional yeah. boxer, mm -hmm. so Luis Alcaraz, Aneda. No chance. Talk to me about the mindset behind choosing two fighters in one night. All right, so with me fighting Swarms, I felt like it wasn't enough. I was like, all right, Swarms, he's like, hey. <sighs> That's dope. That's honestly, I fuck with that energy.
So, uh, yeah, this happened uh, a couple hours ago, and people wanted me to talk about it. So they keep coming in my chat, and I figured I'd make a video and talk about it. It's kind of dark. It just happened, as I said. So we're just recording this kind of off the cuff. And anyway, um, I'd like to go through and um, talk about something that happened in Path of Exile. Now, uh, there's a streamer, uh, also makes YouTube videos. I've seen a handful of them. Path of Math. He has been banned from Path of Exile. The reason why he got banned, developer abuse. So we're gonna talk about a little bit, uh, this, it, it's, it, it's not just like one clip. It's a confluence of events that we will go through and we will evaluate throughout time. So let's go ahead and let's look at the clip that I think most people are assuming got him banned. This is the clip that many people are referencing as the reason why he got banned. And we've got a handful of follow-ups, but other than that, we're gonna look at some other stuff. Here we go, let's play it. Like how fucking retarded are you? You fucking brain dead bald fuck. I guess this the more is... hair you lose, the lead guy is bald. So he's talking about Chris Wilson. The more fucking IQ you lose. And now that he... And, and I said this, like, I, I... I feel like Chris is always... Number one, he's always been bald. So, like, that metaphor doesn't really work. Like, for as long as I can remember, Chris has been bald the whole time. So I, I don't know, like, why... Like, nothing... What, what changed really here? You know what I mean? It was I don't remember. He's bald. He's also retarded. I don't know, dude. Like, what the fuck? So that's basically, uh, that. that's one thing that he had said. Uh, there's also uh, some stuff in Twitch chat here. I mean, there's some other ones, but we're just going to look at this one for now. Dude, I can't believe this bald fucking retard wants PoE to become Diablo 2, but 20 years later. And, and so I think he had said one other thing similar to that. And then there's also this clip right here. 15? Oh, literally a year ago. I guess this is their yearly thing where they basically try to force down our throat a bunch of fucking garbage. And then they just expect us to be like, ah, this time around, this time around it'll be okay. It's like, dude, are you fucking retarded or what? How about you just let us have fun? Consider that. Then we'll actually buy your shitty overpriced MTX, dude. You brain dead fucks. Actually, it's fucking disgusting. Fucking 3.15. So that one was not really that bad. I, I don't, I, in my opinion, like this clip here is like, there's nothing really damn worthy in this. It's just an angry boy, you know, like that's not really it. I, I think that like in my mind, it's a lot more, it's a lot different whenever you single out a specific individual person versus you call like the entire team something. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I find that to be different. Uh, I think that whenever you're talking about like any type of harassment like this, it is to a certain degree, the harassment is in the eye of the beholder. Some people think harassment is one thing, some people think that it's something else, etc. Uh, I do think that this guy, this has been a long time coming. Because I'll be honest, like if he had just had this one thing and he got suspended for it, I would be like, oh, that's kind of, that, that's a bit out of pocket, that's a bit much, right? It's their game, they can do what they want to do in the game. But what I want to bring people's attention to is the fact that the clip that you're looking at here is number five on a seven point list of problematic behavior that this individual has demonstrated in the past. So yes, this is only number five on the list. And so we're gonna go through and we're gonna talk about this. Uh, number one, harass the staff member for basically no reason. First ban. So that's right, guys. This isn't the first time either. This is another clip confirming this. Uh, he has been temporarily banned over personal insults at GGG staff members before. Last time, I think there was about comments that I won't repeat, attacking a specific dev, uh, not Chris, who he personally blamed for nerfs to harvest crafting. And also, after he got banned from the subreddit, he went and he made an alt account to argue about himself with randoms on here. 
while pretending to be somebody else and then streamed it. Oh, and God forbid anyone call him out either. He has a beef with nice other people. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And so anyway, this guy gets pissed off and he's trying to, uh, he's trying to defend himself after he gets banned. And I think that really, again, oh, oh, oh let, let's, let's move down the list, right? I, I don't want to move around too much. Uh, let's look at number two. Made some video about how he was unjustly banned for fake Discord screenshots, then privated it when it came out that this wasn't the reason for the ban at all. Did giveaways to his viewers, which is explicitly considered RMT by GGG, second ban. People have told me not to do that. Uh, I was doing a service so this was like at the end of like two other weeks ago, I was doing a service where I would vol people's headhunters. <laughs> and I deleted two of them. Like I, I actually evaporated two headhunters for somebody. And it was like, I don't think they would give a shit about that because it's like, actually, I'm doing them a favor because I'm removing things out of the economy, right? Uh, yeah, so I, I didn't get suspended for that. Um, but I could see, obviously, like, giving away stuff to get people to watch your stream. Now, I've always thought that's a little bit cheesy. Uh, is it really a bad thing? I don't really know. I don't really give a shit too much about it. But, um, you know, if, if they have a rule against it, then, you know, you shouldn't do it. It's, it's that simple. Uh, showing himself with multiple sock puppet accounts on Reddit and then caught a Reddit ban. No, oh, so then he, oh, oh, I see. So he was doing this for himself and then he got banned Then he made another account to defend himself again. Uh, emotionally unstable enough to have a temper tantrum, calling Chris a bald retard on stream. Third and current ban, pathological liar tries to damage control a lie about all these past incidents and runs away whenever lies are corrected. So this is the individual what, what, that we are dealing with now. And he made this tweet. Uh, it's since then been deleted, but I haven't refreshed the page. So this just happens. $1,000 in supporter packs in, in uh, 3.18 alone. That's like the last previous patch. I'll be the first one to call the good shots, but I won't chill whenever the game I love seems to be taking a really, really bad turn. Uh, Firegrass, turns out if you mention Chris, you get banned. And so this is like, this is what happens this is the kind of person that gets in my ban appeals and they were just like i was just expressing my opinion and then i read what the opinion is so i hope you die oh 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 <laughs> oh so what is it now guys what do we get banned now for expressing our opinion oh wow we can't have opinions anymore damn like i, I don't know like am i am i crazy to say that like singling out an individual person on the team is like way different than just like saying the whole team is retarded like i, I feel like that's a totally different fucking paradigm right yeah it, it's like yeah it, it's personal like he was the one that made it personal i would say dude that it come personal shit's no good it's targeted yeah it's, it's very targeted it became personal at that point uh exactly so yeah um uh, when you're the director, it's your job. Well, yeah, of course it is. One person wants person. Yeah, I, I would say so. That That's kind of where I'm at. Um, anyway, so he got a response. That was his original tweet. A lot of people were not sympathetic. And I think the reason why people were not sympathetic were was because, very simply, he says, if you talk about Chris, you get banned. Like, this is the exact kind of stuff that I perma-ban people for in my chat. Everybody knows it's not true. It's intellectually dishonest. It's misleading and it's fucking obnoxious. It, it's just, it's, it's being an obnoxious little bitch. And, and yes, that's what you were being. You were being an obnoxious little bitch. And you know what? It wasn't the first time. It wasn't the second time. We're on number five now. And you got suspended. You got banned. So let's go ahead and let's look at what he said after that. And he said right over here, why well, it's dead. Okay, there we go, how dead crafting is. And, and this is also a problem. And this is why the whole community, I think, needs to get together. And, and this is not just in PoE, right? This is happening in PoE now, but I think this is a general thing. I think the community does need to get together and make sure that they push away people that are abusive and hostile under the under the guise of it being constructive. I think these people are dis are they are destructive. 
Uh, they're damaging for the uh, relationship between like the developer and the play and the players. Uh, it, they just they create a divide, and they basically use these situations as like an emotional stress ball that they just fucking squeeze as hard as they can whenever their feelings get hurt. It, yeah, I, I think this is it's very important that people can stand together and say, listen, like this is not something that is good. This is a bad thing. Uh, I don't want this whole situation to take a toll on me mentally. It's not worth it. I deleted everything, taking it on the channel. We'll see what happens in the end. I apologize and I'll do better. No reason to take this further. Okay, so that's basically what he said. Uh, he apologized for it, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, the fact is that taking accountability for it, aren't their feelings valid, though? Uh, no, there are some feelings that are, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. If, the thing is, like, your feelings become invalid the moment that they are inflicted on other people. Nobody cares about your feelings whenever they are used as a justification to harass somebody. Uh, that, that, now, obviously, like, we want to hear what people think and etc. but also, it is your responsibility to communicate in a way that is not unnecessarily aggro. And whenever you, whenever you do that, you can't be surprised whenever people get mad at you. And I think that it's very simple, right? If you go to any place, uh, any any place in real life, right? At any rest, any not restaurant, uh, any uh, any establishment, any store, any restaurant, and any place, and you act the way that he did, you're going to be removed from the store. Let's be honest. You're going to be removed from the store. And the thing is, this has happened in World of Warcraft as well. And it's one of the things, like, I remember it happened to Holinka. That was really fucking bad back in Warlords of Draenor. And it's happened to Steve Denuser. Uh, he's, like, another one of the guys that, like, everybody blames shit on him. It seems like the guy's got a sense of humor. But that's why I always say it's because, like, everybody knows Steve. They're rightfully so. Get the fuck out of here rightfully so. Like, it's a fucking video game. You can criticize and, and and say that the writing is bad, say everything like this, but the moment that you make it personal, you are now wrong. It, 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 there is never a, a... There is not a line that a video game can cross that rationalizes you personally attacking the people that are making it. Do you understand? Like, there's never, there's never a line for this. Like, it's not like, oh, wow, well, yeah, but, I mean, if, yeah, but if it's like a 70% nerf, then we can call them, uh, a, 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 I don't know, like a bald retard. But if it's only 60%, he's only a retard. And if it's only 50, he's only dumb. Like, get the fuck out of here. Just don't make it personal. You just talk about the content. Yeah, that, that's all it really comes down to, man. I don't think it's really complicated. It's also a sponsored creator, so basically it goes false for I, I don't know about that. Uh, it depends. And, uh, yeah, it's amplified since he's prominent in the POE community. He's, no, uh, he's not a nobody. No, he, he's not. I mean, people know him. And uh, Tower is almost banned for having WoW devs as switchy emotes. Was he almost banned for having an emote? I don't really think he was almost banned. I just think he's only to get rid of uh, I remember that situation. Tally's had a great relationship with Blizzard for like fucking 10 years. I don't think that he almost got banned. Uh, anyway, so <sighs> let's go back over here. Uh, Ironica's is banning people from calling him out in his offline chat after the fact. Yeah, that's always the way people are. Um, anyway, what? So, uh, what kind of baby ass shit is that? I don't know. Shout out Blizzard all the time, and you roll your eyes I'm when they're dev speak. We're not in the camping, it's okay, just because you don't see it. So, that would be very true, Nebula, if you had literally no social IQ at all. Like, if, if, if you exist only on the internet, and you have no idea of nuance and social cues or anything like that, then I could see where you reach the conclusion that me saying that the Warcraft devs are making a stupid decision, or I disagree with Ian about something, or I think it's dumb, to making a personal attack on Ian's appearance or another developer's appearance and then calling them uh, anything. Oh, right, that never happens because that's not what's happening here. But they're two different things. Uh, I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, they, they, it's, it's not related at all. Autism? 
I, I don't like using autism as an insult because it's like a it's a fucking it, it's like a, a it's a specific thing, right? And there's plenty of people like don't fucking put this on autistic people. There's plenty of autistic people that play POE and they're not doing this. You see what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a medical disorder. Uh, I try not to in general. Uh, like I don't, I very very rarely call people like schizos. I very rarely, I, I will use general insults, of course, but I rarely use medical insults, uh, medical like diagnoses as an insult. Sometimes I do that. Okay, like I'm not trying to, like this is just a, it, it's, it's a guideline, not a rule. Okay, but it's like generally the way that I look at it. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's basically it. Criticize a game, but uh, don't harass the devs personally. Yeah, being too specific. Well, I mean, anybody can decide to be... Uh, you stop saying Spurg as much, which I appreciate. I don't think there's anything wrong with Spurg. I've said it before. I, I don't really think it's a big deal. It's the same as, like, uh, people say, like, Mongo Cleave and stuff like that. It's like nobody really, like... If you look at etymology, there are a lot of words that actually come from bad places. But I think the words have evolved from their origin, and they now live on their own. So I don't think that certain words are bad, but I also never say somebody is Asperger's. I've never said that. Think about that. So yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I draw the line where I think that it's fair, but either way, um, I, I think that whenever you go and you start insulting people on especially uh, personal characteristics, etc., that's whenever you, uh, that's whenever you kind of cross the line. And uh, uh, that's what Spurg means, though, no? Uh, not necessarily. I think that people don't necessarily correlate it to the same thing. I, I would assume that most people that use the word don't know where it came from, and I think that pretty much makes it okay. And I know that there are some people that try to, like, police what other people say and say, like, oh, this is okay, this is not okay. Um, the fact is that I'm going to say what I want, and I think that I have a pretty good barometer on what is and is not okay. And so people that disagree with that can choose to say what they want, but this is what I think is fair and equitable and reasonable and, you know, whatever you want to call it. So, so that, that's about it. I, I don't, I don't want to go and argue about this for like an hour. Um, anyway, if you don't like the word, don't use it. Uh, so, but anyway, personal insults based on appearance, I think we can all generally disagree is a bad idea. And uh, I think that also it's about like the tone. And, and this is the other thing that I wanted to talk about, right? So there are a lot of times that people call me bald and people call me stuff like this. It's like, oh, I'm not bald idiot or something like that. Like I get the same insults as Chris does, right? Let's be honest. Um, but like, I can tell that they're joking. What is happening? Right? Like I have a rapport with this person. I understand like this person is, is joking around. Like it, it's like whatever, right? But like, have you guys ever read something in chat where somebody is saying the same type of stuff, but the way they're How saying it, and up? this is especially true with tone of voice and like actually speaking, but like you can very easily trios. tell whenever somebody is saying I'm something by myself like in a trios game versus whenever somebody is saying something amazing, with just like, you know, uh, it's like they're bantering with you. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I think like, yeah, the tone of it, it's like everything about that, like it, it, it's, it's totally fucking different and it's a different vibe. And like, I feel like this guy is bringing a completely different vibe, a completely different energy. And I think also this is this is the context. Like, think about over at Grinding Gear Games, right? This is a guy that's already been suspended for the exact same thing beforehand. And then he makes a video and lies about it. Then whenever he gets exposed, he hides the fact that he initially lied. Then he does an RMT giveaway that, I mean, again, uh, that that's fine. I mean, if you ban somebody for that. But, like, did he know this was against the rules ahead of time? If he did and he did it anyway, that's his fault. He fucked up. And also showing himself on, on this. And then so, like, again, we're on number five here. We're on number five. And so, of course, they permanently banned his account. So, again, uh, he did get banned. I got a response. So my consequence is the endless amount of hours and the thousands of dollars I spent on the game. I'm going to do what Impy did and step out of the duration of the league and reflect on my choice of words when venting or in disagreement. Uh, I think that's probably a, a, a good idea. Um, I, I do think that, and, and this is always a problem whenever somebody wants to give a some degree of like an apology or something like that, is that it's very obvious that he does not agree with this and there is no reason, like, 
if he changes his behavior, it's only going to be because he avoids the ban. Like, he's not acknowledging that he did anything wrong, because if he was, and he thought that it was wrong, he would not have implied a unjust equivalency to him harassing the developers and then being suspended because of his endless amount of hours and thousands of dollars he put in the game, right? Like, he would have not he would have not made that equivalency if he believed that it was proportional to what he was doing. You see, you see kind of what I'm saying? And so, like, it, it, it's very obvious that he's downplaying what he did and he's trying to make himself look like uh, a victim. And, and, and nobody likes this. It's just pathetic. Like, I've been suspended. I, I've done things that are wrong. I've, I've, I've done huh? bad stuff. I've gotten in trouble for it. I've never, I've, I've never played what? the victim here. I've never played the victim. I've never been Did like, something oh, happen? I, I, you know, it's like... whatever. No, if I get suspended for something what? and I do it wrong, then that, it is what it is. Like, this you, you is take so it on the chin and that's bro. all there is to it. So banning is power right, abuse. I don't one. think so. I, I think Bro, that, I just I almost uh, I almost like, beat, hold up. That's power abuse, but two eliminations. That kind of stuff on his stream is not power abuse because I think came in third do, place like, by myself you, you have to, on a trio. Uh, I thought it was a yeah, solo. Yeah, I, well, I got unbanned. That's the difference. So if he said all this stuff and he said everything and then they unbanned him, well, he'd be right. But I, yeah, I got, I got unbanned. That's the difference. People are forgetting MP's life isn't fair. Look at Africa take. Well, who gives a fuck about that? It's just stupid. Like, so, oh wow. A person that plays one video game 15 hours a day gives a weird analogy to something whenever he's being harassed by a bunch of people. Oh, oh. I mean, please, I could give less of a fuck about this. It, it doesn't upset me at all. Uh, would it be okay to ban someone from a video game for comments made on a social media platform? I, I think that, like, I mean, obviously there's an extreme for everything, but I think that if you're making comments and you are a content creator, even if you're not, but we're talking about in this circumstance, if you are a content creator and you're making comments about the developers, calling them out individually by name, insulting their personal appearance, Especially, it's not the first time. It would be one thing if this was the first time. It's like, oh, Baldy Chris makes another mistake. That's not what he. That, that, I, that's not what happened. This is in the context. This is very fair. This is very, very fair. Repeat offender. There you go, man. And so people get banned for teabagging. Yeah, that's not what we're talking about, though. That's not what we're talking about. Dude's a jackass. Yeah, he's a pussy bitch. These Sandy slurs are just jokey shit. I don't think if, I don't think if you use slurs, it matters. To be honest with you, I don't, it, that does not factor into the equation in my mind. A personal insult based off of a person's appearance is very different. You, you see kind of what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not about like, oh, well, he used this word, so he's bad. Or he used that word, so he's bad. No, it, it's about the vibe, the tone, the delivery, what he's saying, the pattern of behavior. It's about all this stuff. It's not just one point on a graph. It's kind of like what I've said before. One point on a graph doesn't do anything. But two, three, four, five points, that makes a line. And I think we've got a line right here. It's obviously been crossed. So let's go back over. We'll read a few of the comments and talk about this a bit more. But um, we're going to go ahead and move on past this. Uh, let's see here. Watch the videos from Belgium and such. And realize this. Yeah, I've watched some of those videos. I have no idea. Uh, let, let's see. Are there any more of these? I, I think, like, yeah, it's just like whatever. Uh, who gives a shit about this? Um, uh, that uh, Screeching of Christmas stepped down. Uh, it, it's just, it's, it's a whole lot. Yeah, it, hard. It's angry boy stuff. I think that's really pushing the Why do we stuff. land we there, really bro? got too comfortable and got fucked. I mean, I, I, I think that this is just a person with low emotional intelligence and even less, so, uh, oh. less self-control. He plays this video game all the time. It's his job, so he has like a vested interest in it being successful. And all of these things come together, and he just has an outburst, and he gets mad. 
Uh, he can make another account. You're welcome to create a new account if you wish to continue playing, provided that you adhere to our terms of service on your new account. So he can make a new account. It's not like they're they're not pulling the Tyler One treatment on this guy. Yeah, uh, he can make another account. They just don't want to deal with him anymore on that account. It, it's just, it, they're basically like, hey, fucking stop it. Like we told you the first time, you tried to make us look bad, it didn't work, and now you're doing it again. And so this is also what happens. Uh, making a mistake doesn't mean you're going to learn from a mistake. That's true, for sure. But if you acknowledge that it is a mistake, then I think that it would imply that you know that it's wrong. Or at least you know you shouldn't do it, uh, regardless of what it is. And, and so, uh, what if Chris doesn't like your religious Big posts on social media? Is it okay to ban that, too? Uh, what if Chris... Uh, what, what if what if Chris goes out to check his mail and uh, he steps on a rock and he trips and he comes back inside and he thinks to himself while he's in the he's at the mailbox he's like I'm gonna ban the first person I see his name I'm gonna ban them from from the game and then he does that is that fair like how many like what if he does it with one eye closed? Like, what are you trying to say? You understand? Like, I understand what you're trying. I, I understand what you're trying to say. It's completely disingenuous. It, it, it's 100% it's completely disingenuous. Yeah, what if it's a full moon? Well, it depends. How many eyes does he have open? Is he wearing socks or not? Stop serving another not event. No, I don't think so at all. It says in terms of service, I can ban you for any reason. I think that I, I don't really care about the terms of service. I don't really give a shit. A lot of things have, uh, uh, like, what a boring conversation. Well, they say they can ban you, so they ban you. Oh, wow, thanks a lot. That really fucking settles it. Okay, great. Chris posted on Reddit. What did he say? Let me see, let me see what he said. Uh, I think his recent one is highlighted, so it should be there. Uh, what happened with items? Oh, this is him talking about the item stuff, etc. Philosophy 2, there shouldn't be a large gap. Uh, this is... Direction from here. Okay, that, that's good. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll, 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 this is unrelated. This is very important, but it is unrelated to the current topic. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, that's another video. <coughs> I'll, I'll probably just read oh, it great. off stream or something like that. But anyway, so, uh, I, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think about this? I mean, the guy, the, the guy is like, I, I feel like this is 100% deserved. Especially, like, the thing is also, we live in a day, a, a day and age where people get harassed in real life. You know what I mean? Like, they get harassed in real life for things that happen on the internet. So I don't think it's fair to really say, like, oh, well, it's on the internet, it doesn't really matter. Like, people get actually harassed, uh, you know, things happen, people have their real names out there, and they're putting themselves out there, and, and then they get treated this way, and, and that, that's, that's a bad thing. And so, PoE community has been a bunch of fucking crybabies. I, I think that I, I think that GGG treats the PoE community with too many kid gloves. To be honest with you, I think that there are way too many personal insults. People take it way too fucking far on that Reddit, and it's been happening for over a year. And it is, it's just what happens online if you don't remove the offenders. You should not delete the, you should not delete the posts. You should ban the accounts. If somebody does that, like this is the thing. I don't believe in like a one, two, three strike rule policy. Somebody can appeal the ban later on and like, yeah, you unban them, right? It's not a big deal. But like, if you type something once and it's bad, you're automatically banned. Automatically. Because why are you treating people like children whenever they're not? These are grown men. Like, I'm sorry, but like, let's be honest. In PoE, most of the people that play the game are fucking 20 to 40 year old men. That's what it is. It's, these are not children. This isn't, a, you know, like a seven year old who had a temper tantrum. This is a fucking 26 year old uh, graduate student. Get the fuck out of here.
Yeah, stop acting like that. It's just insane. Why oh, so pro censorship? It's not censorship to fucking ban people who are attacking you on a personal level. This is not censorship. And and it's like, why do you muddy the waters? Like we have legitimate real problems with censorship in, in, in our culture. We legitimately do. And why the fuck are you muddying the waters with genuine real problems with censorship with this pussy ass bitch that's getting banned because he personally attacked a specific developer? Why, why are you why are you devaluing a legitimate problem by putting this person on your side? Fuck me, dude. This person isn't on your side. They'd be calling you a bald retard too the second that you did something that they didn't like. If people from their fan base harassed you or harassed your family, you wouldn't give a fuck. It's a piece of shit. That's all there is to it. Banning for harassment was censorship. Yeah, I think that's very fair. It's a big line between censorship and freedom from association. Yeah, I think so. And uh, black from all together, not keeping an individual from talking to another individual person. Yeah, of course. And so anyway, let's go back over. We'll read a few comments, and then we're going to move on. Personally attacked with letters on the internet. We'll tell that to Christopher. Uh, well, who's that girl that got killed by one of his fans? Uh, like, it was like some girl. I, I don't know. People, like, oh, tell that to Meg Turney. Who had a guy break into her house because somebody wanted to kill her husband. Christina Grimmie, yeah. Get out of here, man. This shit happens all the time. It's something that you should worry about. A sweet Anita and her stalker. Emru has had problems with this. This is this is very common now. And it's not a good thing. I don't want to fucking do oh it's words on the internet. No, it's it's not. That's the problem. Those are actual attacks, not words on the internet. Where do you think it comes from? Where do you think it comes from, man? What do you think? Like somebody tried to burn down Amarath's house. What, where do you think that comes from? What? Why are you? What, what, why? Why are you playing stupid? Why? Why are we? Why are we playing games here? What are we? What are we playing games here for? Everybody knows what's going on. Let's be honest. Yeah, people shotgun? are crazy. Yeah, what, what the fuck are you talking when about? When did I drop my shotgun? Uh, police this game, have to bro. deal with it yet? No, they haven't. I mean, what is going on? It is what it is. Why people Where did I drop my words. shotgun, bro? I think most of the time it is just words. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, I don't know. I think it's fair. Like, if you want me to... Hold he on picked it. it up. Bro, like, his, his account got fucking I banned, fucking... I'm an idiot, bro. And the, I, I, but I, I didn't pick up anything else. Like it's like, what are you talking about? Fractions and and he moves past it. They'll probably unban his other account. Yeah, they'll probably unban his other account. If he's made enough time and, and here we go. Yeah. They'll probably pick unban up all the it. shit that I don't want. What, what? What do you? Yeah. What do they care? Like, they, they just wanted to, to show a um, uh, you, you know, like set an example, I guess. So you need to buy a $10,000 stash camp? Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and so, yeah, that, that's what it is. Mental illness, 100%. I mean, like, maybe. This type of guy I'd never say it to your face. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, but, yeah, that that's the way I look at it. Coomer's watching uh, streams. It's a stalking, which is the dark side of the forms. I think that it's just... I don't think that there is any place that people should accept personal... Physical insult on somebody's physical appearance based off of like a disagreement in a video game. If it's like harassing the developers, I don't think any developer should have to put up with that. Now, I don't care how it was, okay? The internet was a lot different 10 years ago, 15 years ago, or whatever. The fact is that people's real life is connected directly to the internet now. It's not like on the internet, your XX Pussy Slayer, and in real life, you're, you know, fucking, I don't know, like, whatever your name is. Uh, this is not, it's, it's, it's not the same. You feel harassed, it's harassment. I think that that's not always true. And there are some people that just try to, you know, they cry harassment every time people are, uh, you know, criticizing them or something like that. But I think in most cases, that's not really true. Uh, I mean, that's... Like, it's like in the same way that you have 
people that are like they'll they'll say like anything any criticism of them is, is like harassment in the same way that you have people like that you're also going to have people that say that any criticism isn't harassment you see what i'm saying uh cost your job get out of hand leads to restraining orders in jail time yeah exactly uh, and so yeah Right, it's saying fat is unhealthy, man. Well, I mean, like, for example, like, if I was going around calling uh, a Blizzard developer a fat fuck, like, I don't think anybody would have my back on that. I think everybody would say, like, bro, like, shut the fuck up. For example, like, yeah. It, like, I say, like, this guy is a fat fuck piece of shit. So it has nothing to do with calling him a retard. Just that by itself, I'm like, yeah, fuck that. Get him out of here. Yeah, people would not have my, people have my back on that. Like, absolutely not. I wouldn't have somebody else's back on that either. It's crazy. Uh, glass half full take. This publicity will bring him new viewers. <laughs> no, it won't. What kind of what? What kind of a viewer watches some guy mauled out like a baby back bitch, and then they think to themselves, "Well, I want to watch this guy." Well, I know who it is. It's people that want to make him mad again to get the for entertainment. This is not a good thing for him. It's not good in any way. Uh, he got really mad and really passionate about a game in the current state, and I don't think a part of fan. Fair? Passionate. He, gets, he got passionate. <laughs> what, do we have to all be his emotional tampon now? We have to go all and, uh, we've gotta go fucking pad everything around him in case he gets too passionate? Now everybody else has to live around this his passion. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! Listen. Um. Anyway, I, I want to get get back to this. Uh, in general, I, I think harassing people individually, uh, calling them out by name, uh, making personal insults of their appearance—it's uh, out of pocket, it's unnecessary, and I'm not surprised he got banned. He can just make a new account. It's not like he's gone. He hasn't been, uh, you know, banned off of Twitter and he can never make a new account. He just makes a new account. Uh, I, I think that's very different. I think also harassment is, in a lot of cases, against the law if you continue doing it, which he clearly has. This isn't his first infraction. I, I, I think it's fair for them to deny him service. That's about how I feel about it. This is a big one, and this is a, again, I've heard your philosophy on this multiple times. You have, the WoW has gone through a very long history of going back and forth between bring the player or the class. Oh, the buffs. The last expansion, yep. playing perfectly optimally, there's about seven spots in a 20-man raid that were basically required with something that you could not really replace with any other class. Uh, yeah, this expansion like a warlock. So far, again, taking a few liberties, but even leaving a few out, there's a bit closer to 12. Wow. Uh, speaking for a not real first or high level cutting edge team, we will probably make it work regardless, but more for the type of UTC level teams that might not have some very powerful buffs or might have to swap classes. They're gimmicks. Like play something they maybe don't like as much to make themselves more powerful. I understand mm -hmm. that they don't need to be fully optimal. Volume up. Uh, basically, can you explain your philosophy? Come on, bro. Like, this is a joke. This is a joke. This is a joke. This is a joke! This yeah. is a joke! This game is a joke! That was a long question, sorry about that. Yeah, no, okay, so like, I mean, I've, so some of it is stuff you, you mentioned that I've talked about in the past, but I'm thinking the we origins good. of bring the player, not the class, were like the extreme other yeah. end of the spectrum, back in late Burning Crusade, where it wasn't just raid buffs, it was a matrix of party buffs, and it was, you know, it's strong in BC raiding, the BC raid buffs were too much. Rogue, and the group of the warrior to get battle shot, the warrior needs wind fury, they're bad, and it's like, you have somebody... Who? What? How is he shooting me like this? How? And so, they can't contribute. That felt clearly not what we want. And we've moved, we moved away from that steadily. With a revolver, um, bro. Where we, we're moving back towards is class mattering 
um, making sure that the best raid composition makes no type of sense at all. What's the difference between optimal and not when you play a raid? Bro, this game sucks, bro. Get a group together. If you don't have a warlock, you should be looking for a warlock. Holy shit, that was fucking just retard after retard after retard. That helps provide. Now that said. We want to make sure that none of these buffs feels too impactful. Like to Warlock. The that it's like, you can't go without it, it's utterly mandatory at multiple levels. It's not mandatory, it's just better. The top tier level. Oh my goodness. Um, in that case, we're, we're what the fuck did I just do? Like, what just happened, bro? Mm -hmm. provide a substitute, um, or just increasing Get up the fucking hill, bro! Yeah, what is the, what is, what is this? Increasing. I mean, no yes. group she is fucking retarded, bro. Uh, the percentage of classes that brings those buffs has decreased naturally over the years. That's exactly what's exactly. changing. That's, that's so, a good point. I never you. thought of that. Uh, I think you'll probably see this in the next beta build. Um, or next alpha build, rather. Uh, evokers will bring Bloodlust. So we'll have a fourth Lust class in the mix. Wow. We're also looking at adding Battle Lust to one more class. Uh, possibly Paladins, likely Paladins. We don't 100% quote me on that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Um, a new and responsibility for like, McConnell. We want to take a step back and look at it, the whole ecosystem now that we've explored the space of individual buffs yeah. um, on the class level. We don't want to close that door and say, no, we're not doing this. But it's absolutely possible that when we take all 38 specs in the locality, there's just too much of this now. We're too close to the Burning Crusade space. At which point, I'm going to fucking lose my okay. fucking yeah. mind, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah, so actually, I will have a follow up question on that. That was actually, first of all, that was an amazing answer. Uh, but, yeah, that, that was okay. So, so when you talk about like a scenario where, okay, if you are trying to play optimally, you maybe will want to have one of every spec. I think there's a couple of polarizing versions of Crazy Blade right now that I kind of want to hear your opinion on. Gateway. Uh, so currently, I think of the, how many classes are there now? Is it 13 with Evokers? Yep. Okay, uh, with 13 classes, I think 10 have ones where they have, util have either an hour-long raid buff that is basically irreplaceable or are in some way... Uh, bringing you were bringing them to like for example warlocks don't have that but if you know if you've been around uh, gateways hellstones summons yes. recovery all those things are extremely powerful thank you max uh, and you need one yes of those classes uh, how do you look at abilities like dk's death grip where it's not a class you need yeah. to have to raid every pool but if there if there is a raid ball it's so or useful or something that requires grips that is as important and more important come on because bro holy fuck dude classes that just have death grip is golden raid versus classes that have such strong here we go. Why is my fucking team fighting already? Where is my team, bro? So you're asking us to your Yeah. That's the yeah. Opposite fuck are you idiots, bro? <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Like, needed is the thing that shouldn't be something that we're building a certainly a non Like, if having a max, having a death grip, having a certain tool. Makes your life a bit easier. Well, it's in normal and heroic. Yeah, great. And again, like hug leaders, especially Easier. hug leaders are encouraged to hug great for a reason. Get, go up, bro. Go, like this years. game sucks, dude. Um, philosophically, like normal versus heroic, I think part of the difference there, like in normal group, normal mode is hugs, but also just really casual friends and family groups that are just mm -hmm. there to play with each other. They're not looking for strangers into their group. They're not necessarily looking to like recruit to get a certain class or new role. Yeah. You want to Got him. You can think you're gonna sneak up on me, bitch. As long as you have yeah. the basics covered. At heroic level, to some extent, the difference there, even if you're not like cutting edge mythic, you still there's some challenge, there's some coordination. You care about success. You're not gonna pick it up. Doing 50 Pick it up! You hear that, McConnell? Yes, Chuck. You can't come next time. Bringing in classes. Nico. If it's ever literally impossible, then we're gonna find it. We can't have You're retarded! Oh my fucking god, bro! We'll do something there, so it's like, it's not just the people that are trying to get over the top of the scale of class. I think I just have to do this like more. Because it's a positive so Because it's. More than 5% damage or whatever. 
let them show up. This game sucks, one dude! Class, it's too much. Are, are, are wild. But, yeah, one I, class I, I was too more much. kind of along the lines of, like, implying, like, I think it's Hunters, DKs, and Shamans that are the only class in the game, basically, that, is, that has situational fighters in the utility instead of just they have to make them. So, uh, I was kind of just saying, like, maybe if what you did what actually want, or, like, okay, you always have it. Uh, one of you have my... Boom! Like, it's, it's every game, bro. No, it's it's not. Uh, but, uh, like these are good questions. I think it's only you're kind of trending in this direction. Shit is so retarded, bro. Can we not fight in the first fucking five seconds, yeah. please? Ultimately, we I mean we are looking at representation. Hunters are overpowered. Yeah. They don't do that. Can we not fucking just pick up a one pistol with three bullets and start fucking fighting everybody? You fucking retards, bro. That feels like a cop out. It so is. Like, Don't do that. If there's a representation problem that we need to solve, and we're coming up with a good idea, uh -huh. we want to move in that general direction. But you know, just, not just make, sense, make so. it make sense, bro. Uh, Why are you so uh, retarded? It just doesn't make sense. Everybody else lands like a bunch of fucking retards. I want to pick up a gun and shoot it. I'm fucking retarded. You're lying, bro. These kids are retarded, bro. Like, just no, no help. No hope, no help, nothing, bro. It's over for these kids, bro. Like, bro. You're so bad. Like, this is just a mi I can't, I, I, uh, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. These kids are all fucking brain dead, stupid fucking retards, bro. Holy fucking shit, dude. Like you can just you can just feel the fucking brain just combusting on itself as they fucking just make these retarded decisions, just fucking running with no thought. That shit was fucking retarded, bro. Life. Life is the only thing we need. They need me to go, but I don't want to leave. 
rest in peace, little kid. Fuck a pigeonhole, I'm a night out, this a different mode. I'ma have to make a pain of six on a pinky toe. Heard you with a shooting guard, just let a nigga know. I would have your court side, not the middle row. All good love in a minute, though. I can't stress about no bitch, cause I'm a timid soul. Plus, I'm cooking up ambition on the kitchen stove. Pot start to bubble, see the sun, that shit good to go. Whole sound suave, but I can't get me cold. Bro, think he John Wayne. I bought them yellow stones, love the way they hang, babe. For the silicone, everybody fake now. You could crack the code, bust down everything. Set in rose gold, dread talking to you niggas. Like I'm J. Cole, I could tell a head good before I even know. Bitch, don't tell me that you model. If you ain't been involved, gotta throw a party for my day ones. They ain't in the studio, but they'll lay some. Rest in peace to Drama King. We was straight stunned. Y'all don't like the way I talk. Nigga, say something. Gotta throw a party for my day ones. Pull up and you know it's us, the bass jump. Y'all don't like the way I talk and say something. Gotta throw a party for my day ones. They ain't in the studio, but they'll lay some. Rest in peace, the drama king. We was straight stunned. If I let my nigga 21 tell it, you Spin a block twice like it ain't nowhere to park. Smack the back side of his head like he barked. OVO for so well, we come out when it get dark. Big stepper, he came in the road. He loved the stretcher. Let my brother drive while I shoot my head upward. Asking all these questions, but you must think you the best Seems so retarded, bro. I'm on the road to go major. She ate on my 
focus, I take better. Man, man, fuck all these niggas hating on me. Yeah. Yesterday I fucked the waitress. I came outside with my place, she was waiting on me. And y'all ain't talking about shit. She be telling me to smile when she ride my dick. Yeah. Yo, nigga going wild, keep begging for a hit. He be saying, don't argue, big bro, put some paper on me. Bitch. Huh? Fuck all these niggas hating on me.
get it, they cook it, they this. If it ain't turn up, but nigga Christian. Mr. Glock, I got bundles of bitches. Yeah, I keep me in my breaches. Yeah, my mind's still stuck in the trenches. Yeah, I got bitches still going on this shit. Bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my money. I came in the game, did my thing, get junk. I'm the same young nigga that came from nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bitch, I came from nothing. I'm straight off the block, I won't change for nothing. I made it out the hood, but I still be dead. I made it out the hood, but I still be drugged. Hood rich nigga, hands still get dirty. Only 24 when I keep me a 30. Shit, it get ugly, I got it in pain. I made it out the hood, but I still be drugged. Yeah. Um. This is the way! This shit is retarded, bro.
with a like how dude this is a joke how did you like what did, what did this happen how do i unload a golden gun a clip a full clip and it's not enough it's not enough Sure, dude! Fucking retarded! Oh my fucking god, bro! Like, how do I unload the whole clip?! She's so fucking retarded, bro! Holy fuck, dude, this game is so fucking stupid, dude. Let's go. Point blank range, fucking unload the whole clip, doesn't kill him. What the fuck killed me then, bro? He didn't need to reload. He didn't even fucking put half a clip in me. Bullshit, bro. Jump off the top of the road like Jeff Hardy. Niggas be broken, be ready to party. Nike Mads on man, I'm feeling like Marcus. Okay, bro. Just the, the golden gun doesn't do anything. It's dead, man. Cross on my neck like the flesh on one bam bam. Ran up the M's in the lobby with a glam. She on my dick on a pink, she a fan fan. Posting this rest, but I know it's a scam. Don't come for bitch, I'm not selfish, I sham. Elliot P. Diamonds looking like Cam. He acting tough, but he's sweeter than yam. Two bitches in a rose ghost in the scam. I collect shoes and I don't even wear them. 25 million, I get overwhelmed. Hello. I want the kitty, I like bitches thick with them little bitty titties. I like bitches rich and they know how to get Oh, this shit is so whack, dude. Never quit it. You niggas was hating, waiting, line them shit. You niggas was hating, waiting, line them 